Hi, this is uh, our software Mod Studio Pro, and uh, this is a real-time render engine that uh, basically we take uh, animations and models out of Max, Maya, any of the s standard CG applications, bring them into Mod Studio, and uh, do all of our shaders, lighting, rendering um, here here at Mod Studio Pro. So let's start off by just hitting the render button real quick, and right there we have a final rendered frame, and it took uh, you know just just that long. So the question is, how do we go about getting this uh, final rendered frame? Well, generally, we're going to start out with our ambient occlusion path. So here we have our ambient occlusion. So we'll go ahead and pop out our edit camera. As you can see, we can tumble around the viewport here. This is a screen space based uh, ambient occlusion. We're not, uh, this isn't pre baked or pre calculated. So we can grab our character, we can move him around. You see the soft shadows there on the floor are actually uh, updating in real time with uh, the movement of the character. Now you notice that it's also fairly grainy here. We can sample up our ambient occlusion as well for preview. And at render time we even sample higher than this. So I'll pop back into our renderer here. So uh, we have three types of lights in Mock Studio. We have environment lights, uh, point lights, and projected lights. Okay, our environment lights are image-based lighting. We use uh, full dynamic range uh, HDR images here. And if we adjust this, you can see we're just uh, messing with the kind of uh, ambient set light in the scene. We'll move on to our uh, point lights. Now, our point lights are non-shadow casting lights. They're generally used for, um, for highlights in the scene. In this case, we have uh, these point lights are linked to the eyes of the character. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and if I adjust this light, you'll see that the eyes of the character are also uh, illuminate with it. And then lastly, we have our projected lights. Now, our projected lights are primary shadow casting lights. We'll pop out here and we'll turn on our light icon. We can grab that light, we'll turn our lights back on, and we can grab this light, and we can just start moving it in the scene. You see that we're the light and the shadows are moving with it in real time while we're working. And this gives the lighters an opportunity to get uh, much more personal with their image so that they can uh, start experimenting and doing things that they normally wouldn't do. So we also do all of our shader setups in Box Studio. We'll go ahead and select uh, the hair of our character here. This is a shader that we built specifically for doing hair. We see we can grab our slider here, and we can just shift that specular highlight across the surface of the, the hair here. So we don't have to play around with uh, moving our, our light rig around just to make sure that we get the right specular kick off of the hair. We can also change the color if we wanted to. Over some red hair. And then we also have displacement mapping as well. This is a new feature that we are able to do because we use uh, ATI hardware tessellation. So let me isolate this character here real quick. Alright, so we'll zoom in close on the face here. And we'll enable our hardware tessellation. We'll go to wireframe mode real quick. And when I enable displacement, you'll see automatically the topology of the face changes a bit. Then we can further that by driving up our tessellation. And we pretty quickly get down to a sub-pixel level. And we'll come out of uh, wireframe mode. Put a displacement map in here. Drive up our displacement scale. Uh, smooth it out a little bit. Hit the render button. And there we have full uh, displacement happening on our character in real time. And this is not fake displacement. If we go into our ambient occlusion pass, you can see that this geometry is actually growing right out of the face. And lastly, we have a robust render layer system. So when it comes down to render time and we want to uh, break up our shot, we can go ahead and do that. We can add layers so we can uh, render out our diffuse pass, our spec pass, uh, shadow pass. We support depth maps uh, and all the way down to uh, velocity maps for doing uh, uh, you know, 2.5D motion blur in the box. 